वेलकम टू चैप्टर नंबर टेन ऑफ गाइटन फिजियोलॉजी एंड द टाइटल इज रिदमिकल एक्साइटेशन ऑफ द हार्ट दैट बेसिकली टॉक्स अबाउट द कार्डियक इम्पल्स दैट ट्रेवल थ्रू दी साइनो एट्रियल नोड विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड द पेस्ट मेकर ऑफ द हार्ट सो इन द हार्ट द सिस्टम इज समथिंग लाइक दिस दैट द इम्पल्स फॉर द हार्ट कॉन्ट्रेक्शन आर इंट्रेंसिकली इनिशिएटेड इन ए स्पेशलाइज स्ट्रक्चर विच इज नोन ए साइनो एट्रियल नोड अभी इसके बारे में हम पढ़ेंगे और फिर देर इज स्पेशल वायरिंग सिस्टम इन द हार्ट उस वायरिंग से ये जो इलेक्ट्रिकल इंपल्स है ये पूरे हार्ट तक कन्वे होती है एंड द हार्ट स्टार्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग सो दिस इज नोन एज रेडिमिकल एक्साइटेशन एक्साइटेशन बेसिकली मीन आपको याद है जब हम मसल कॉन्ट्रैक्शन की यू नो वीडियोज देख रहे थे तो उसमें हमने ये बात की थी एक टर्मिनोलॉजी में यूज करता था बार बार विच वॉज एक्साइटेशन कॉन्ट्रैक्शन और इसके लिए हम वर्ड यूज करते थे कपलिंग सो कपलिंग का मतलब बेसिकली ये था कि देर विल बी एक्साइटेशन विच इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप एंड द एक्साइटेशन इज फॉलो बाय कॉन्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ द मसल सो एक्साइटेशन कॉन्ट्रैक्शन कपलिंग हार्ट की जो फंक्शनल एक्साइटेशन है दैट इज जेनरेटेड विद इन द हार्ट सो अगर मैं आपको फ्रॉम द वेरी आउटसाइड इफ यू लुक एट दिस डायग्राम सो हेयर इन द राइट एट्रियम जस्ट नियर द एंट्री ऑफ द सुपीरियर वेनाकेवा देर आर स्पेशलाइज कार्डियक मसल सेल्स विच आर नोन एज साइनस नोड या साइनो एट्रियल नोड नाउ दैट नोड इज नथिंग बट स्पेशलाइज कार्डियक मसल देखिए बात आपने याद रखनी है वैसे मसल सेल का काम क्या होता है कॉन्ट्रेक्टिलिटी बिल्कुल इसी तरह कार्डियक मसल सेल्स का काम क्या है हार्ट की कॉन्ट्रेक्टिलिटी लेकिन कुछ मसल सेल्स ऑफ द हार्ट अपना स्ट्रक्चर uh, इस तरह से चेंज कर चुके हुए होते हैं कि उनमें कॉन्ट्रेक्टाइल एलिमेंट कम हो जाता है यानी एक्टेन मायोसेन ये वाले एलिमेंट्स कम हो जाते हैं सो द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ दीज मसल इज नॉट कॉन्ट्रेक्शन रादर द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ दीज मसल इज नंबर वन जनरेशन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिकल इंपल्स एंड देन पासिंग ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिकल इंपल्स टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल साइनो एट्रियल नोड में या साइनस नोड में जो uh, वेव ऑफ डीपोलराइजेशन जनरेट होती है वो इंटर नोडल पाथवे के जरिए अगले नोड तक पहुंची है सो दैट्स द फर्स्ट नोड विच इज नोन एज द साइनस नोड देन देर इज एनदर नोड विच इज नोन एज दी एट्रियो वेंट्रिकुलर नोड ये जो एट्रियो वेंट्रिकुलर नोड है इसका नाम इस तरह से है एट्रियो वेंट्रिकुलर नोड यानी एट्रियम और वेंट्रिकल के बीच में सो हेयर वी हैव द एट्रियम दिस इज द वेंट्रिकल और एट्रियम और वेंट्रिकल के बीच में जो सो देर टू नोड अब इन नोड के बीच में जो बंडल्स मौजूद हैं ये भी स्पेशलाइज्ड कार्डियक सेल्स हैं और इनका काम भी कॉन्ट्रेक्शन नहीं है इनका काम है इम्पल्स को कैरी करना फ्रॉम द साइनस नोड टू दी एट्रियो वेंट्रिकुलर नोड और इन फाइबर्स को हम नाम देते हैं इंटरनोडल पाथवे सो साइनस नोड में डीपोलराइजेशन uh, का जो एक्शन पोटेंशियल या जो इलेक्ट्रिकल इम्पल्स है वो इनिशिएट होता है हार्ट की कॉन्ट्रेक्शन के लिए देन दिस मैसेज इज Uh, you know it is traveling through the internodal pathways and reach to the av node av node ke baad agla jo conducting system hai that is called atrio ventricular bundle aur ye bundle phir aap dekhenge aage ja ke right aur left bundle branches mein divide hota hai these are again the wiring system and the right and the left bundle branches are divided into so many smaller purkanji fibers which distribute to uh, virtually all parts of the ventricular muscular wall okay so that's how it is done basically so the general Generator is the sino atrial node. This is where the electrical impulse is generated. That is the generator, and the action कहाँ होना है, pump कहाँ चलना है. That is the ventricular wall. Obviously, atria भी contract करते हैं, तो इनको भी supply चाहिए. लेकिन ventricles are they are the thick muscular walls. They have to contract very very strongly, and therefore they need the current which is generated in the generator. So the generator is the sino atrial node, and the whole wiring system. Uh, you must remember. that okay sinus node internodal pathways av node av bundle left and right bundle branches and then the purkanji system so that is the um, the whole crux of today's video okay the human heart is a special system for rhythmic self excitation yani sinoatrial node mein self excitation hoti hai and repetitive contraction approximately 100000 times each day yani ek dil mein pure din mein in a 24 hour time period aapka dil kitni dafa beat kar raha hai about uh, 100000 times and if you calculate did for a normal human life that is approximately or slightly over than 3 billion times uh, so itna continuously aapka heart beat kar raha hai obviously it's required for life this impressive feat is performed by a system that does the following 
और वो सिस्टम पूरा ये सिस्टम है जो भी मैंने आपको एक्सप्लेन किया एंड व्हाट इट इज डूइंग इज इट जनरेट्स द इलेक्ट्रिकल इंपल्स टू इनिशिएट द रिदमिक कॉन्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ द हार्ट मसल और ये जनरेशन कहाँ हो रही है इन द साइनो एट्रियल नोड एंड देन इट कंडक्ट दीज इम्पल्स रैपिडली थ्रू द हार्ट ऑब्वियसली सिर्फ जनरेटर अगर आपका पास मौजूद हो जिसमें करंट तो बन रहा हो लेकिन कोई वायरिंग सिस्टम ना हो सो वायरिंग सिस्टम का होना जरूरी है फॉर ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंपल्सेज सो कंडक्शन ऑफ दीज इंपल्सेज ओके वेन दिस सिस्टम फंक्शन नॉर्मली द एट्रिया कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अबाउट वन सिक्स ऑफ अ सेकेंड अहेड ऑफ द वेंट्रिकुलर कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ये बात मैंने अपनी पिछली वीडियो में भी जब मैं ये कार्डियक मॉड्यूल हम डिस्कस कर रहे हैं इसकी जो पहली वीडियो अपलोड की थी उसमें मैंने आपको ये बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट दिया था कि कॉन्ट्रेक्शन का डिजाइन ऐसा है हार्ट का कि एट्रिया हैज टू कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अ लिटल अर्लियर देन द वेंट्रिकल्स एंड इट शुड मेक सेंस टू यू बिकॉज एट्रिया का कॉन्ट्रेक्शन का पर्पज क्या है कि जब ये कॉन्ट्रैक्ट करे तो ब्लड एट्रिया से निकल कर कहाँ आ जाए इन टू द वेंट्रिकल्स और फिर वेंट्रिकल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट करें अगर ये सारा कुछ एक साथ होगा यानी एट्रिया और वेंट्रिकल की कॉन्ट्रैक्शन एक साथ होगी तो बात बनेगी नहीं बड़ा हॉचपॉच सिस्टम हो जाएगा सो लॉजिकल थिंग इज द फैक्ट कि पहले एट्रिया कॉन्ट्रैक्ट करें और वो एट्रिया अपना ब्लड पम्प करें वेंट्रिकल में और फिर वेंट्रिकल सो देर शुड बी अ डिले ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्शन बिटवीन द एट्रिया एंड द वेंट्रिकल एंड दिस इज वॉट हैपन्स देर इज अ लिटिल डिले विच इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर द नॉर्मल फंक्शन ऑफ द हार्ट Another especially important feature of this particular system is that it allows all portions of the ventricles to contract almost simultaneously. यानी सारा ventricle जो है ना ये एक साथ ही पूरा right ventricle, left ventricle एक साथ contract करेगा अब ये होने के लिए जरूरी है कि जो ट्रांसमिशन लाइन है वो बहुत अच्छे से पूरे कार्डियक मसल में डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड हो वरना ये होगा कि एक पार्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कर रहा है और दूसरा नहीं कर रहा सो दीज आर सम इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द कंडक्शन सिस्टम ऑफ द हार्ट दैट यू शुड नो This rhythmical and conductive system of the heart is susceptible to damage, obviously, like uh, other parts of the body. We, as human beings, we are not uh, made for you know a lifetime guarantee. There is obviously a timeline, just के बाद हमारे organs damage होने start होते हैं. So the sinoatrial node, the conduction system, this is also susceptible to damage, particularly such as for example myocardial infarction, ischemia, inadequate. कॉर्नरी ब्लड फ्लो दीज आर ऑल द कंडीशन जिसमें यह हार्ट का जो रिदमिक सिस्टम है ये डिस्टर्ब हो सकता है द इफेक्ट इज ऑफ एन बिजार हार्ट रिदम और इन अबनॉर्मल सीक्वेंस ऑफ कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ द हार्ट चैम्बर्स एंड द पंपिंग इफेक्टिवनेस ऑफ द हार्ट कैन बी अफेक्टेड सीवियरली इवन टू दी एक्सटेंट ऑफ कॉजिंग डेथ ये जो नॉर्मल सिस्टम है ना कि साइनोट्रियल नोड में इम्पल्स जनरेट होगी फिर वो ट्रांसमिट होगी ए वी नोड में फिर ए वी बंडल एंड देन द बंडल ब्रांचेज एंड प्रोकंजी फाइबर सो इफ देर आर डिजीज इज लाइक माइकार्डर इन function if there is ischemia if there is any problem where the blood supply is disturbed for example so if some part of the uh, conduction system is not working there can be bizarre outcomes so for example प्रीमेच्योर बीट्स हैं एयर इर्मियाज हैं ऑल दी सॉर्ट ऑफ हम पढ़ेंगे इस पूरे मॉड्यूल में ये चीज़ें बट रिमेंबर दैट दिस इलेक्ट्रिकल सिस्टम इज सप्लाइड ऑब्वियसली विद न्यूट्रिय ऑक्सीजन ग्लूकोज बाई ब्लड वेसल्स एंड इफ दोज ब्लड वेसल्स आर डैमेज बिकॉज ऑफ एनी रीजन सच एस एम आई जिसका मैं बार बार नाम ले रहा हूँ माई कार्डियल इन्फॉक्शन बिकॉज इट्स वेरी कॉमन तो इस स्कीमिया की वजह से देर कैन बी डैमेज टू द सिस्टम एंड बिजार आउटकम सो मच सो दैट डेथ कैन हैपन ओके Now we have to talk uh, in more detail that how does the uh, specialized excitatory system of uh, the heart basically work. So यहाँ पे जो दो heading में terms use की हैं, एक है excitatory system and दूसरा conductive system. Because uh, the system is not only generating the electrical potential, but it is also conducting the electrical potential. So it is generating and then conducting. So it is excitatory as well as conductive. Okay, uh, the figure that we have already shown. shows the specialized excitatory and conductive system of the heart that controls the cardiac contractions the figure shows that sinus node which is also known as sinoatrial node jo ke main bar bar word use kar raha hu in which the normal vertical impulses are generated so this is where the impulses are generated the internodal pathway that conduct impulses from the sinus node to the av node then there is an av bundle and the av bundle divides into bundle branches right and left bundle branches and from these branches a lot of purkinje fibers which are distributed to all parts of the ventricle so remember this diagram this is an important one for you okay 
Now, uh, uh, some more details about the sinoatrial node. The sinus node, which is present in the right atrium, the sinoatrial node, that is the generator. Is me uh, cardiac impulse banti hai. So that's a very important, and it is worth spending a few minutes on this particular structure. The sinus node is a small, flattened, ellipsoid strip of. Ab ye suniye zara word. A specialized cardiac muscle. Now, this is nothing but a specialized cardiac muscles. I have told you that this is conduction system. This is not a good thing. They are also cardiac muscles. But they are cardiac muscles which have contraction ki ability minus. Ho hai. So, cardiac cells minus contractility is equal to the conducting system of the heart. So, this is a sinoatrial node. Hai, iske jo cells hai na, these cells are also cardiac muscle cells. They are about 3 mm wide, 15 mm long. Obviously, you have dimensions yaad nahi rakhne hai, and 1 mm thick. It is located, this is important. It is located in the superior posterolateral wall of the right atrium. So, it's the right atrium immediately below and slightly lateral to the opening of the superior. These two things are important. Hai. Superior vena keva ki entry or right atrium. This is where it is located. The sinoatrial node is located right where the superior vena cava is entering okay into the uh, right atrium the fibers of this node have almost no contractile muscle yahi to main keh raha hu specialized muscle cells hain in mein contraction ki ability nahi hai therefore they actually do not contract however the sinus nodal fibers connect directly with the atrial muscle fibers so that their action potential that begins in the sinus node is spreads immediately to the atrial muscle wall Ab, uh, this actually makes sense because if this is an specialized cell to iske aas paas baki jo cell honge wo to cardiac cell hi honge na so in cells mein jo bhi electrical potential generate hogi wo automatically conduct ho jayegi because there are channels and uh, ions transport from one cell to the other cell to uh, beech mein uh, you understand it like this okay there is a niche of sinoatrial node which are specialized cells or as pass ye sare cardiac muscle cells hain to ye jo cardiac muscle cells hain in mein jaise electrical potential jayegi they will contract because they have contractile elements okay now the automatic electrical rhythmicity of sinus fibers some cardiac fibers have the capability of self excitation a process that can cause automatic rhythmical discharge and contraction this capability is especially true for the heart's specialized conducting system, including the fibers of the sinus node. For this reason, the sinus node ordinarily controls the heartbeat, and the entire heartbeat is actually controlled by the SA node. Okay, and therefore it is also called uh, the normal pacemaker of your heart. Pacemaker because it makes the pace of the heart. So it is the electrical generator, the pacemaker of the heart. Okay, now how this sinus node maintains the rhythmicity? Let's study the mechanism. Now, it shows the action potential recorded from inside a sinus nodal fiber for three heartbeats and by comparison a single ventricular muscle fiber action potential. So, if you look at this diagram, these are, uh, you know, these are the action potentials from the, the red ones. These are the action potentials from the sinoatrial node. And this green, hai, this is the ventricular contraction muscle fiber. So, this muscle fiber is the contraction. Hogi. So, there is depolarization and then there is a slight repolarization, then a plateau and then repolarization and then the next cycle. So, the green bit is the muscle contraction and the red bit, these graphs, they are from the sinoatrial node. The first thing you Ob ob obviously observe between these two uh, action potential curves is the fact that uh, the green bit which means the ventricular muscle fiber is ka jo starting potential hai that is uh, you see where it is around um, you know less than minus 80 or slightly around minus 80 85 maybe but look at the starting potential of the sinoatrial node it's different it's way higher and similarly there is no plateau there is action uh, potential generation which means the depolarization and then there is repolarization and then then uh, again depolarization and repolarization so these are two entirely different uh, looking action potentials so in the cat difference I will be able to take so we have uh, three heartbeats key sinoatrial node key action potential uh, there are three one two three and one muscular contraction or abhi spe thodi si mazid detail mein baat hogi note that the resting membrane potential of the sinus nodal fiber between the discharges is about minus 55 to minus 60 millivolts so if you look at this is the resting potential obviously ye ek spike hai ye dusri spike hai ye teesri spike hai so you look here this is about minus 55 minus 60 but the resting membrane potential is uh, 
uh, about minus 85 to 90 in the ventricular muscle fiber so this point is the resting membrane potential for the muscle fiber and this point is the resting membrane potential for the sinoatrial node so the difference you see here so if somebody asks you what are the differences I am using the word that the sinoatrial node hai, these are specialized cardiac cells now what is special the first speciality you have to understand that the sinoatrial nodes have no contraction ki ability nahi hai. there is no contractile ability the other difference you have to understand that the action potential ka jo resting membrane potential hai, these are different amongst the two types of cells and the cause for this lower negativity is that the cell membrane of the sinus fiber in the sinoatrial node major cells hai, they are naturally leaky to sodium and calcium ions and positive charges of the entire sodium and calcium ion neutralize some of the intracellular negativity because these cells they are leaky to sodium and potassium so sodium tends to come in all the time and therefore the negativity is reduced before we explain the redimicity of sinoatrial fibers first recall from the discussion of chapter 5 and 9 9 ki have already video ki hui hai, 5 ki bhi ki hui hai. That cardiac muscle has three main types of membrane ion channels, and these channels are number one, fast sodium channels, calcium channels, and potassium channels. These three channels are the whole action potential ka game. Sabalte hain. Opening of the fast sodium channel for a few seconds, even few ten thousands of a second, is responsible for rapid upstroke. Jaise hi uh, sodium channel open hote hain, boom, depolarization. So the influx of the positive sodium ion to the interior of the fiber is responsible for the rapid upstroke. Then there is a plateau which is because of the calcium channels and then the potassium channels open and then repolarization happens. So this is something that we have already discussed. However, there is a difference in the function of these channels in the sinus node because the resting potential is already very uh, less negative which is minus 55 as compared to the minus 85 or minus 90 in the muscles which can contract. At this level of minus uh, 55 millivolts, the fast sodium channels mainly have already become inactivated. So listen to this. Uh, at this resting membrane potential the fast sodium channels are already blocked they are not working this is because any time the membrane potential remains less negative than about minus 55 millivolts in channels ka conformational change as they don't work so the sodium channels are no more working in the sinoatrial node therefore only slow sodium calcium channels can open and thereby causes the action potential as a result, the atrial node action potential is slower to develop than the action potential of the ventricle. Also, after the action potential does occur, return of the potential to its negative state occurs slowly as well, rather than abrupt return. If you in diagrams, so you see here, that is a slower upstroke as comparison to a very sharp upstroke here in the muscular, uh, in those muscles which can contract. And, and now you know. So, these are important differences. Note these are the differences between the sinoatrial node and the uh, cardiac muscles which have the contractile ability. Next concept that we have to discuss is the leakiness of sinus nodal fibers to sodium and calcium causes self excitation. Because of high sodium ion concentration in the extracellular fluid outside the nodal fiber, as well as a moderate number of already open sodium channels, positive sodium ions from outside. Uh, actually leak to the inside through the inward funny current so if this is a nodal cell obviously in the extracellular fluid there is more sodium it comes in and this is known as funny current so if somebody asks you what is a funny current so funny current is something uh, where we talk about K because of leakiness of the sodium to inside the sinoatrial node sodium uh, comes into from the extracellular fluid into the cells and this is what generates the funny currents therefore between the heartbeats the influx of positively charged sodium ion causes a slow rise in the resting membrane potential in the positive direction so this is what is happening here so here the sodium enter ho hai and this is going up in the positive direction okay and thus the figure 10 to shows that the resting potential gradually rises and becomes less negative between the two heartbeats so this is one heartbeat this is second heartbeat and you see this is uh, you know moving the potential is moving towards the positive direction and that's because funny current is coming in so sodium is coming in when the potential reaches a threshold of about minus 40 millivolts the l type calcium channels now become activated and a lot of calcium basically comes in and this calcium 
is the reason that we have the depolarization therefore basically the inherent leakiness of the sinus nodal fiber to sodium and calcium ion causes self excitation ye sara process automatic hai to jo sino atrial node hain wo self excite hote hain unko koi bahar jaake excite nahi karta why does this leakiness to sodium and calcium ion not cause the sinus nodal fiber to remain depolarized for all the time because obviously for every depolarization in life we have a repolarization effect as well and now we will see okay there are some other channels which will play a role to bring back uh, the uh, membrane potential back to the negative uh, value two events that occur during the course of action potential to prevent such constant state of depolarization यानी बात यहाँ पे ये हो रही है कि अगर साइनो एट्रियल नोड दे आर परमिएबल टू सोडियम एंड देर इज लिकीनेस ऑफ सोडियम तो ये सोडियम तो सारी जिंदगी अंदर आता ही रहेगा आता ही रहेगा आता ही रहेगा तो ये हमेशा ही पॉजिटिव डायरेक्शन में अब स्ट्रोक होना चाहिए था एक्शन पोटेंशियल लेकिन एक्शन पोटेंशियल वापस भी आता है एक पॉइंट पे आके ये जो सोडियम की लिकीनेस है ये इरेलीवेंट हो जाती है और इस पॉइंट पर आकर ये मामला रुक जाता है और वापस नीचे की तरफ आता है माइनस की तरफ आता है सो उसमें दो इवेंट्स कौन से होते हैं नंबर वन the l type calcium channels become inactivated so more l calcium cannot come in and if more calcium cannot come in further depolarization does not happen or second ye hota hai ki there is increased number of potassium channels which open so potassium channel jab open hoga to potassium cell se bahar nikal jayega because of the concentration differences and now the repolarization will happen so there is obviously uh, you know in life for every depolarization there is the repolarization okay and sometimes uh, a little more potassium is lost so the cell may enter into a state of hyperpolarization but then sodium starts coming in and again depolarization starts why is this new state of hyperpolarization not maintained forever again because of the funny current because now uh, sodium starts coming in so basically if we try to summarize what's actually happening in the whole scenario ke jo sinoatrial nodes hain sinoatrial node this is the cell of a sinoatrial node so initially iska jo action potential hai that is around minus 55 or sodium funny currents under ye sodium ana start ho gaya so it goes towards the positive direction and at a level of about minus 40 millivolts you know calcium channels start so pehle funny currents because of sodium and then calcium channels start to open और कैल्शियम चैनल्स की वजह से देर इज डीपोलराइजेशन बट एट अ पर्टिकुलर लेवल ऑफ पॉजिटिविटी द कैल्शियम चैनल्स आर ब्लॉक्ड एंड पोटेशियम चैनल्स ओपन सो पोटेशियम गेट्स आउट ऑफ द सेल सो वेन पोटेशियम गेट्स आउट ऑफ द सेल देर इज रीपोलराइजेशन एंड एट दिस पॉइंट अगेन वॉट हैपन्स द फनी करंट्स यू नो स्टार्ट टू प्ले दियर रोल अगेन एंड सोडियम कम्स इन वैन सोडियम कम्स इन अगेन दिस इज वॉट ऑल अगेन हैपन्स एंड दिस फनी करंट मेक्स द मेमरेन पोटेंशियल अगेन फ्रॉम माइनस फिफ्टी फाइव टू मोर positive value and then calcium channels open there is a up strike depolarization then potassium channel repolarization and then again funny current so funny current is responsible and when i say funny current is basically means uh, sodium entry into the sinoatrial node you know um, sinoatrial node mein jab sodium enter hoga so this is the bit funny current se ye wala jo part hai uh, depolarization ka this part is maintained so that's all because of sodium entry and this is important because we need to reach to this point minus 40 tak aayenge tab calcium channel open honge aur depolarization hogi so uh, sodium and calcium channels are uh, relevant important for सेल्फ एक्साइटेशन ऑफ द साइनो एट्रियल नोड और आप देख रहे हैं यहाँ पे फास्ट सोडियम चैनल काम नहीं कर रहा है सो द फास्ट सोडियम चैनल आर नॉट वर्किंग बिकॉज द रेस्टिक मेमोर पोटेंशियल इज माइनस फिफ्टी फाइव और इस पॉइंट पर फास्ट सोडियम जो चैनल हैं दे आर एक्चुअली ब्लॉक्ड and once the process is completed yani from minus 55 to about minus 40 to depolarization to repolarization and then again so the process starts again so funny current starts again and the whole thing starts again okay so funny current is the first step yani sodium channel is the first step then calcium channel and then uh, potassium channel this is all maintaining the uh, what Uh, we call the self excitation of the sino atrial node to ab aapko pata lag gaya ki sino atrial node mein ye sab kuch ho raha hai okay now there is uh, conduction obviously this was the generation of the action potential now let's talk about the conduction the internodal and the interatrial pathways transmit the cardiac impulses through the atria the end of the sinus nodal fibers connect directly with the surrounding atrial muscles therefore action potentials originating in the sinus node travel outward into these atrial muscle fibers 
in this way the action potential spreads through the entire atrial muscle mass and eventually to the av node so it's now just a matter of uh, conduction of uh, election uh, action potential the velocity of the conduction in most atrial muscle is about 0.3 meters per second but conduction is more rapid up about 1 meter per second in several small bundles of the atrial fibers one of these bundle is known as the anterior interatrial band which is also called the backman's bundle through uh, you know which passes through the anterior walls of the atria and to the left atrium in addition three other small bands curve uh, the anterior the lateral and the posterior atrial walls and they terminate in the av node so these are the connecting wires which start uh, you know their journey from the sinoatrial node and these three fibers you see they come and land into the av node so these four you basically bands yaad rakhne hai. one is the backman bundle and the, then there are three more bands okay these are called respectively the anterior middle and the posterior internodal pathways because of their location the cause of more rapid velocity of conduction in these bands is the presence of the specialized conduction fiber these fibers are similar to even more rapidly conducting purkinje fibers so purkinje fibers are the fastest in terms of conducting the action potential but anyways you now know that there is a sinoatrial node there are three internodal pathway and then there is a av node okay now the av node iski thodi si details discuss karte hain aur phir yahan se baat aage badhegi the atrioventricular node actually delays the impulse conduction from the atria to the ventricle so that word is extremely important delays hum uh, ab tak jo baat kar chuke hain usme we discussed ke how the electrical impulse is generated in the sinoatrial node and then it travels by the internodal pathway to the av uh, node ab av node ka kaam ye hai ke ye jo impulses sinoatrial node se aayi hain wo foran aage ventricle mein transmit na ho and we know there is a, a physiological reason for this because we want the atria to contract earlier than the ventricle so we need some mechanism here jiski wajah se ye jo conduction सिस्टम है ये थोड़ा सा डिले हो जाए इन द एवी नोट ओके द एट्रियल कंडक्टिव सिस्टम इज ऑर्गेनाइज सो दैट द कार्डियक इंपल्स डज नॉट ट्रेवल फ्रॉम द एट्रिया इन टू देंट्रिकल्स टू रैपिडली सो यहां पे ऐसे होता है कि भाई आओ थोड़ा बैठो चाय शाय पियो आराम से समोसों में से खाओ उसके बाद आगे बढ़ना है सो देर इज ए डिले इन द एवी नोट दैट्स एन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट आई एम फोकसिंग ऑन दिस पॉइंट विद ऑल स्ट्रेंथ ताकि आपको ये याद रह जाए दिस डिले एंड वाई दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट इट अलाउज टाइम फॉर द एट्रिया to empty their blood into the ventricle before the ventricles start to contract we we have discussed this concept it is primarily the av node and its adjacent conductive fibers that delay this transmission from the atria into the ventricle the av node is located in the posterior wall of the right atrium so right atrium is a, i mean extremely important location isme sinoatrial node bhi hai isme right uh, atrium hi mein posterior wall mein iski uh, and obviously towards the lower uh, part of the atrium there is also av node okay and the figure 10 1 and 10 3 diagrams the different parts of this node plus its connection with the uh, entering arterial internodal pathway and the uh, exiting av bundle so we 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 understand what they're talking about so this is uh, for example the av node and this av node on the superior aspect is connected with the internodal pathway and inferiorly it is connected with the av bundle and then the right and the left bundle branch okay the figure also shows the approximate intervals of time in fractions of second uh, between the initial onset of the cardiac impulse in the sa node and its subsequent appearance in the av nodal system note that the impulse after traveling through the internodal pathway reaches the av node about 0.0 seconds after its origin from the sinus node yani sinus node mein jab impulse generate hui to uske 0.03 second ke baad wo impulse kahan pahunch gayi av node mein uh, so that's uh, what these numbers actually indicate then there is a delay of about 0.09 seconds or uh, is delay ki wajah se uh, you see after the delay of 0.09 seconds it is then moved forward so there is a delay 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 in the av node that's important a final delay of another 0.04 second is uh, uh, occurring mainly in this penetrating av bundle which is composed of the small fascicles passing through the fibrous tissue separating the atria from the ventricle thus the total delay 
इन द ए वी नोडल एंड द ए वी बंडल सिस्टम इज ऑफ पॉइंट वन थ्री सेकेंड यानी ये जो जीरो पॉइंट वन थ्री सेकेंड का डिले है इस सिस्टम में और ये पूरा सिस्टम जब मैं कहता हूं सिस्टम सो वट डज इट मीन द सिस्टम बेसिकली मीन दिस विच मीन द ए वी नोड एंड देन द ए वी बंडल इस पूरे सिस्टम में पॉइंट वन थ्री सेकेंड का डिले है इस डिले के दौरान ये हो रहा है कि इलेक्ट्रिकल इंपल्स वेंट्रिकल में नहीं जा रही लेकिन एट्रिया कॉन्ट्रैक्ट हो रहे हैं और यही हमको चाहिए कि एट्रिया कॉन्ट्रैक्ट हो जाए और फिर ये इंपल्स आगे जाए ताकि बाद में वेंट्रिकल्स कॉन्ट्रैक्ट हो तो ये नंबर्स याद रखना जरूरी है ये एग्जाम में पूछते भी हैं कि भाई टोटल डिले कितना है सो द टोटल डिले इज पॉइंट वन थ्री सेकेंड और एवी नोड में डिले कितना है पॉइंट जीरो नाइन सेकेंड और एवी बंडल में डिले कितना है पॉइंट जीरो फोर सेकेंड ओके दिस डिले इन एडिशन टू द इनिशियल कंडक्शन डिले ऑफ पॉइंट जीरो थ्री सेकेंड फ्रॉम द साइनस नोड टू द एवी नोड मेक्स अ टोटल ऑफ पॉइंट वन सिक्स क्योंकि पॉइंट जीरो थ्री सेकेंड तो ऊपर से ट्रेवल करने में भी लगा था ना तो अगर इन दोनों नंबर्स को हम जोड़ दें आपस में सो इट्स अ टोटल डिले ऑफ पॉइंट वन सिक्स सेकेंड फ्रॉम द एस ए नोड टू द वेंट्रिकल सो अगर आपसे ये बात की जाए फ्रॉम द एस ए नोड टू द वेंट्रिकल कितना टाइम लगता है कंडक्शन को तो वो इतना टाइम लगता है पॉइंट वन सिक्स सेकेंड का ओके फ्रॉम द साइनोट्रिकल नोड अनलेस इट रीच इज द वेंट्रिकल अब हम बार बार ये बात कर रहे हैं कि यहाँ पे स्लो डाउन होता है यहाँ पे स्लो डाउन तो भाई ये स्लो डाउन क्यों होता है ये एग्जाम में एग्जामिनर्स आर वेरी इंटरेस्टेड द स्लो कंडक्शन इन द ट्रांजिशनल नोडल पेनिट्रेटिंग ए वी बंडल फाइबर इज मेनली कॉज बाय डिमिनिश्ड नंबर ऑफ गैप जंक्शन बिटवीन द सक्सेसिव सेल्स इन द कंडक्शन पाथवे सो दैट देर इज ग्रेट resistance to the conduction of excitatory ions from one fiber to the next and that's a very easiest way to do this ke ek cell ye hai dusra cell ye hai agar inke darmiyan acche khase gap junction hai to ions ki jo conduction hai wo foran transmit hogi lekin agar if some way we reduce the number of gap junctions and this is what happens diminish gap uh, gap junctions if gap junction numbers are reduced then the conduction obviously will be slowed down so this is an important and easy stuff to remember now rapid transmission ab ek dafa जब वेंट्रिकल में मामला पहुंच गया देन वॉट हैपन्स देन द स्पीड हैज टू बी वेरी वेरी फास्ट एंड दिस इज वॉट हैपन्स इन द पुरकंजी सिस्टम और फास्ट स्पीड के लिए इफ आई आस्क यू गैप जंक्शन क्या होंगे पुरकंजी फाइबर्स के सेल्स में ज्यादा होंगे सो इट स्टार्ट मेकिंग सेंस टू यू है ना स्पेशल पुरकंजी फाइबर लीड फ्रॉम द एवी नोट थ्रू द एवी बंडल इन टू द राइट एंड लेफ्ट ब्रांचेज एंड देन डिस्ट्रीब्यूट थ्रू आउट द वेंट्रिकल दे आर वेरी लार्ज फाइबर इवन लार्जर देन नॉर्मल वेंट्रिकुलर मसल फाइबर एंड दे ट्रांसमिट एक्शन पोटेंशियल एट अ वेलॉसिटी ऑफ Of, look at the velocity 1.5 to 4 meters per second it's a huge velocity a velocity about 6 times uh, that in the usual ventricular muscle and 150 times that in some of the av nodal fibers so you look at the imagine the velocity it's like highway drive so if this is the highway and this is the city uh, you know road system where obviously the traffic is so high and you are moving slow and slow and slow unless you enter into the highway and once you are at the highway your speed is like bang more than 100 obviously so this is something like this once the impulse is in the purkanji system where is the purkanji system it goes like boom 1.5 to 4 seconds very very uh, speedy transmission of electrical impulse okay and that's important because we want all the ventricular muscle cells to contract together the rapid transmission of uh, action potential by the purkanji fiber is believed to be caused by very high level of permeability of the gap junction more gap junctions large fibers okay therefore ions are transmitted easily from one cell to the other so now you understand this the av bundle is normally a one way conduction path important point a special characteristic of the av bundle and where is the av bundle you should now have this in your head very very clear that after the av node there is an av bundle so that is the av bundle okay so when we talk about the av bundle uh, is the special character of the av bundle is the inability except abnormal states the of action potential to travel backwards so the action potential cannot go from the ventricle to the atria it only goes from the atria to the ventricle there is characteristic prevents reentry of the cardiac impulses by this route from ventricle to the atria allowing only the forward conduction okay furthermore it should be recalled that everywhere except the av bundle the atrial muscle is separated from the ventricular muscle by a fibrous structure this barrier normally act as an insulator to prevent the passage of cardiac impulses between the atria and the ventricle
in rare cases an abnormal muscle bridge or accessory pathway does penetrate so this is all something very very logical easy to understand this is your heart and this is the right and left side of the heart and here is the sinoatrial node and this is the AV node and then the AV bundle now AV bundle is actually penetrating a fibrous structure which separates atria from the ventricle or your fibrous structure is necessary because this is kind of an insulator so that electrical impulses either or not go through so that sort of thing okay but in some disease condition there is an abnormal connection so for example there is a band uh, originating from here going back to the atrium so ab ye fibrous structure ko par karti hui ek aur wiring hai to is case mein electrical impulses can be you know leaked from uh, where it should not actually be uh, leaking so that's uh, pathology state we will discuss about those scenarios but in normal condition it's only one way conduction from the atria to the ventricle separated at the atrio ventricular junction by a fibrous skeleton okay uh, yeah dusre alfaz mein agar main kahun ki the only thing which can actually take the conduction from the atria to the ventricle is the av bundle ye av bundle hi hai wahid wiring system jiski wajah se electric current atria se ventricle mein jata hai there is no other way because yahan pe sara fibrous connection hai aur fibrous connection insulating mechanism hai usme se current uh, travel nahi karega now distribution of purkinje fibers in the ventricles left and right bundle branches after penetrating the fibrous tissue between the atria and the ventricular muscle the distal portion of the av bundle passes downward in the uh, ventricular septum 5 to 15 mm toward the apex and then divides into right and left bundle branches so the right and left bundle branches okay each branch spreads down towards the apex of the ventricle progressively dividing into smaller branches which are then known as the purkinje fibers and they cover almost all uh, muscular cells of uh, the ventricle so that they contract all together and very rapidly total elapsed time averages about 0.03 second from the time the cardiac impulse enters the bundle Uh, in the ventricular septum until it reaches the terminal fibers of the purkinje system now look at this guys extremely important jaise hi current av bundle mein aata hai boom pure heart mein phailta hai only in 0.03 second jabki abhi thodi der pehle maine baat ki thi ki jo sinoatrial node mein current banta hai yahan se usko yahan tak aane mein kitna time lag raha hai 0.16 second aur pure ventricle mein phailne mein kitna time lag raha hai 0.03 second बहुत ही कम टाइम तो उसका रीजन है ना उसका रीजन ये है कि जो पुरकंजी फाइबर्स हैं जो राइट एंड लेफ्ट बंडल ब्रांचेस हैं दे आर फास्ट कंडक्टिंग फाइबर्स इनका साइज भी बड़ा है इनमें गैप जंक्शंस भी ज्यादा हैं तो इनकी जो स्पीड ऑफ ट्रेवल ऑफ एक्शन पोटेंशियल है दैट इज अबाउट यू नो अप टू फोर मीटर्स पर सेकेंड यार दिस इज वेरी वेरी हाई स्पीड और ये आपको टाइमिंग से अंदाजा भी हो रहा है कि फ्रॉम द एवी बंडल टू द होल वेंट्रिकल इट्स पॉइंट जीरो एंड फ्रॉम द साइनो एट्रियल नोड टू द एवी बंडल सिस्टम इट्स पॉइंट सेकेंड सो यू कैन इमेजिन इतना ज्यादा टाइम लगा इतने थोड़े से डिस्टेंस को कवर करने में और फिर ये बिल्कुल मैं हाईवे की एग्जांपल आपको दी ना सो दैट्स द हाईवे दैट्स द सिटी एरिया थोड़ा सा ट्रैवल uh, करने में आपको आधा घंटा लग जाएगा लेकिन यहां तो आपकी स्पीड हाईवे पर रो माएगा आप बहुत ज्यादा लंबा डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल कर लेंगे ओके सो इज दैट ऑल वेरी क्लियर टू यू If yes, then let's move forward on to the next setting. If no, rewind the video, watch the video again. It's freely available for you to watch as many times as you want to. So, transmission of cardiac impulse in the ventricular muscle. Yeah, actually, we have talked about it, but let's do it one more time. Once the impulse reaches the end of the purkinje fibers, it is transmitted through the ventricular muscle mass. by the ventricular muscle fibers themselves the velocity of transmission is 0.3 to 0.5 second now we are talking about uh, transmission between the purkinje fibers and the contractile muscles okay the cardiac muscles wrap around the heart in a double spiral ye humne last video mein baat ki thi with the fibrous septa between the spiraling layers therefore the cardiac impulse does not necessarily travel directly outward toward the surface of the heart but instead it angulates between the spiral layers because of this angulation transmission from the endocardial surface to the epicardial surface of ventricular uh, cells require as much as another 0.03 second approximately equaling to the time required for transmission through the entire ventricular portion of the purkinje system yani ye jo 0.03 second tha wo yahan tak aur phir jo muscle each and every muscle additional 0.03 seconds okay so that sort of thing which you have to remember so pure agar heart mein hum kahein ki kitni der mein from the bundle av bundle to the whole heart it's about 0.06 seconds okay 
now let's talk about the summary what we have discussed up till now uh, figure 10.4 summarizes the transmission of cardiac impulses through the human heart the numbers on the uh, figure represent the interval of the time in fractions of second that lapse between the origin of the cardiac impulse in the sinus node till the presence now this diagram is not extremely important aapko ye pure numbers is tarah se yaad rakhna zaruri nahi hai but some of the numbers are very important for example from the sa node to the uh, entry into the ventricle yani ye wala jo time hai this is important this is 0.16 then from the av bundle to the tip of the purkanji it's 0.03 and from the tip of the purkanji to the epicardial surface and all the cells and other 0.03 so that's a total of 0.06 uh, so that is the number and this is the number which you have to remember which i actually recommend remembering baki itna important nahi hai so you can uh, leave the rest of the stuff okay ना ये जितने हमने कॉन्ट्रेक्टिलिटी पढ़ी है इसका कोई कंट्रोल सिस्टम भी होगा ऑब्वियसली हम बार बार बात ये कर रहे हैं कि दिस इज ऑल सेल्फ कंट्रोल दिस इज सेल्फ एक्साइटेड दिस इज रिदिमिसिटी व्हिच इज सेल्फ एक्साइटेड बट ऑब्वियसली देर आर सम कंट्रोल सो कंट्रोल ऑफ एक्साइटेशन एंड कंडक्शन इन द हार्ट द साइनस नोड इज द नॉर्मल पेस मेकर ऑफ द हार्ट ये बात मैंने ऑलरेडी भी आपसे डिस्कस की है in discussing the genesis and transmission of cardiac impulses through the heart we have noted that the impulse normally arises in the sinus node something that we have already discussed in some abnormal condition this is not the case other parts of the heart can also exhibit the intrinsic rhythmical excitation in the same way as the sinoatrial fiber this is particularly true for av nodal and purkanji fiber Now, that's an extremely important concept they him यूजअली वॉट वी से कि जो एस ए नोड है दिस इज द पेस मेकर यानी यहीं से आपके कार्डिया कॉन्ट्रेक्चुअलिटी का एक्शन पोटेंशियल जनरेट होता है और पूरे हार्ट में वो पहुंचता है बट समटाइम्स वॉट हैपन्स कि देर आर अदर सेल्स ऑल्सो इन द कार्डियक सिस्टम विच आर केपेबल ऑफ जनरेटिंग द एक्शन पोटेंशियल यानी वो भी पेस मेकर बन सकते हैं कि भाई अगर ऐसे नोट किसी वजह से काम नहीं कर रहा या गड़बड़ हो गई है सो ए वी नोट कैन डू द सेम थिंग Purkanji fibers can do the same thing they can generate the action potential and then transmit to the whole system the av nodal fibers when not stimulated uh, from outside aur inka outside source kya hai inka outside source ye hai ki aise node se agar upar se transmission nahi aa rahi then they can discharge at a rate of 40 to 60 times per minute aur jo purkanji fibers hain they can also discharge at the rate of 15 to 40 times per minute these rates are in contrast to the normal rate of the sinus node which is 70 to 80 times per minute when up ye ye samajhne ki zarurat hai so i will spend some time here so if this is your heart here and this is the right and left parts here this is the sinoatrial node this is the av node and here we have the purkanji system okay now sinoatrial node jo hai iski rhythmic capacity hai 70 to 80 beats per minute it can also be 40 to 60 beats per minute you see and then uh iski jo rhythmic capacity hai 40 to 60 beats per minute and purkanji fibers can also be 15 to 40 beats per minute okay ab in sab ki ye rhythmic capacities yahan pe likhi hui hain agar uh, say for example sinoatrial node thik thak kaam kar raha hai to aapka jo heart rate hai that will be 70 to 80 beats per minute because this is controlling the entire system and it will be 70 to 80 beats per minute but suppose if this is not working then this takes over this takes the charge now the heart rate will be 40 to 60 beats per minute if this is not working then this takes over the charge now the contraction speed will be 15 to 40 beats per minute ab kaun si aisi condition hai jisme kaun take over karta hai why then does the sinus node rather than the av node or the purkanji system take control of the heart beat the answer derives from the fact that the discharge rate of the sinus node is considerably faster than the natural self excitatory potential of the av node or the purkanji fiber yani ye abhi soch rahe hote hain ye choti choti speed wale log gareeb log soch rahe hote hain 15 to 40 beats per minute pe hum khud discharge hona shuru karenge upar se order aaye to bhai sabar aapko meri speed se chalna hai isi tarah ye 40 to 60 wala bhi jab soch raha hota hai ki abhi main khud control karunga bhai tu jab karega tab karega filhal ye 70 to 80 itna speed se bombardment hoti hai action potential ki ki ye jo av नोड है और पुरकंजी सिस्टम है ये अपनी सोच अपना पावर अपनी कैपेसिटी यूज ही नहीं कर सकते एंड दैट इज द रीजन व्हाई द साइनो एट्रियल नोड टेक्स ओवर जिसकी स्पीड ज्यादा है दैट विल टेक ओवर ईच टाइम द साइनस नोड डिस्चार्जेस इट्स इंपल्सेस आर कंडक्टेड इनटू बोथ द एवी नोड एंड द पुरकंजी सिस्टम एंड इट डज नॉट अलाउ इनफ टाइम टू एवी नोड एंड द पुरकंजी सिस्टम टू यू नो फायर ऑन देयर ओन दे कैन नॉट फायर ऑन देयर ओन बिकॉज़ द इंपल्सेस फ्रॉम 
upstream, which is the sinoatrial node, they are coming very, very fast. However, the sinus node discharges again before the AV node or they can even think of discharging. Therefore, the new impulse from the sinus node takes over. Thus, the sinus node controls the heart beat. But if any reason why the sinus node is not working, then the heart beat can be taken over by the uh, AV node. Okay, so remember this point. Abnormal pacemakers or ectopic pacemaker is an important terminology which you should know. Occasionally, some parts of the heart, you know, um, they develop a rhythmical uh, discharge mechanism because hai to heart cells in a koi bhi heart cell agar uh, apni characters ko thoda bo change karke sodium ki leakiness funny currents ye acquire kar lega so they will start firing for example this development sometimes occur in the av node or in the purkanji system in either case the pacemaker of the heart shift from the sinus node to the av node under rarer condition a place uh, this is all rare and pathologic okay a pacemaker elsewhere than the sinus node is called the ectopic pacemaker. Just like ectopic pregnancy, it is ectopic pacemaker other than the usual place. An ectopic pacemaker causes an abnormal sequence of contraction of the different parts of the heart and it can cause significant weakening of the heart. Obviously, if a normal system is running as a note ke through, it will disturb it. So, there will be weakening of the heart and abnormal things are obviously uh, not normal. <laughs> That's why they are called abnormal, isn't it? Now, another cause of uh, shift of pacemaker is blockage of the transmission of the cardiac impulse from the sinus node to other parts of the heart. The new pacemaker then takes over, such as the AV node. When AV block occurs, that is, when the cardiac impulses fail to pass from the atria to the ventricle, then what happens? Okay, now, the new pacemaker will be started in the Purkanji system and the heart will start beating 15 to 40 beats per minute, which is the speed for the Purkanji system. After sudden AV bundle block, the Purkanji system does not begin to emit its trans intrinsic rhythmical impulses until 5 to 20 seconds later because before blockage, the Purkanji fibers had been overdriven, yeah, overridden by the rapid sinus impulses. During these 5 to 20 seconds, the ventricles fail to pump blood and the person faints after first 4 to 5 seconds because of the lack of blood flow to the brain. This delayed pickup of the heart is known as the Stokes Adams syndrome. Yeah, very important thing I will explain in detail. Mein. If the day period is prolonged, it can even lead to death. Now, imagine a person who I'm finding some empty space. Uh, um, cannot find it actually. Oh, there. Yeah. So let's talk about this heart. Okay, that's our heart, right and left parts, and this is the sinoatrial node, and this is the AV node, and then we have the AV bundle, and then the Purkinje fibers. Okay, right, right and left bundle branches, and then Purkinje fibers. Now, if everything is normal this is beating and that is the takeover control system of the heart 70 to 80 beats per minute all normal everything happy but yahan se jo fibers are the, you know these fibers these fibers were the internodal fibers if there is a blockage in the internodal fibers then obviously ye jo 70 80 beats per minute wali impulses thi ye av node tak transfer nahi ho rahi ab yahan system block ho gaya hai to jab system block ho jayega to ab av node will take over and heart start beating 40 to 60 beats per minute Lakin, there are common ischemic diseases, myocardial infarction may ya other ischemia may what happens. Ki jo AV bundle hai, it is blocked. Ab AV bundle jab block ho jayega, to purganji system pe upper se impulses nahi aari. Na 70 to 80 wali impulse nichi aari hai, na 40 to 60 wali impulse nichi aari hai, kyunki block ho gaya hai AV bundle block pe. Ab ye jo purganji fibers hai, inki speed kitni thi, 15 to uh, roughly 40 uh, beats per minute, ye take over karenge, lakin ye foreign take over nahi karte. होता ही है कि there is a lag of few seconds और वो जो few seconds है उसका lag इसलिए होता है कि पुरकंजी fibers are actually waiting कि अभी ऊपर से impulse आएगी और वो impulse तो आती नहीं है जब वो impulse आती नहीं है तो पुरकंजी fiber अभी सोच ही रहा है ये अभी खुद से इसने excitation start नहीं की है so अब चूंकि ऊपर से impulses नहीं आई पुरकंजी fiber भी अभी सोच रहा है तो ventricle contract नहीं करता so there is a pause in the contraction और ये जो contraction में pause होता है यानि ventricle contract नहीं करेगा मतलब ये कि aorta के अंदर blood नहीं जाएगा aorta में blood नहीं जाएगा तो brain में blood नहीं जाएगा brain में blood नहीं जाएगा तो person will faint इस तरह की fainting को जो AV bundle block की वजह से होती है इस fainting को बोलते हैं Adam Choke Syndrome अब ये जो word यहाँ पे हमने use किया ना ये exam में बहुत ज़्यादा पूछा जाता है Stokes Adam Syndrome मैं Adam Stokes Syndrome कह रहा था but anyways Stokes Adam Syndrome 
is because of the delay of the uh, contraction of the heart because of the AV bundle block. But usually, after some seconds, the Purkanji fibers are so hot that if the impulses are not coming up, then what is going on? Command take your hand and then the heart starts beating again at 15 to 40. So, the time of 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 the time पूरा ठीक तो नहीं होता, but at least heart starts contracting और कुछ न कुछ blood supply resume हो जाती है। This is what is known as Stokes Adams syndrome. Very important terminology और अगर ये Purkinje fiber ने थोड़ी देर ज़्यादा सोच लिया, आएगा आएगा ऊपर से impulse आएगा, अभी message आएगा, तो बंदा गया। That's how it is, okay? और ये बड़ा important game है, पांच से बीस second सिर्फ कह रहे देखें, इतने कम seconds के लिए अगर brain को supply नहीं मिलेगी, तो brain system will shut off. Fainting, death. Okay. Now the role of Purkinje system in causing synchronous contraction. The rapid conduction of the Purkinje system normally permits the. Yeah, this whole ka basically crux ye hai. Maine aapko bata diya ke there was overall 0.03 and 0.03. Ye total time lag tha jab AV bundle se pure tamam uh, muscles tak. यानी पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स ये टाइम पीरियड था जिसमें जो इम्पल्सेस हैं वो पूरे कार्डियक मसल्स में एक साथ चली गई थी और सबको एक साथ भेजने का पर्पस ये था कि देर शुड बी सिन क्रोनस कॉन्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ द वेंट्रिकल सारे मसल्स रफली एक साथ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट करें एक साथ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट नहीं करेंगे तो बड़ी गड़बड़ होगी बड़ा हॉचपॉच सिस्टम हो जाएगा ठीक है सो दैट्स दी क्रक्स ऑफ द होल पैराग्राफ नाउ सिंपथेरिक एंड द पैरा सिंपथेरिक तो एक तो बात जो मुझे कंट्रोल में आप लोगों से करनी थी कि ये जो पूरा हार्ट बीट कंट्रोल सिस्टम है ये किस तरह से होता है? So मैंने आपको ये डायग्राम बताई and we talked about three layers के जो पहली लेयर है that is the sinoatrial normal layer 70 to 80 beats per minute if this is not working it will take over AV node if this is not working Purkinje will take over अब there is also sympathetic input and parasympathetic input of the heart rate. So the heart is supplied both by sympathetic as well as parasympathetic system. The parasympathetic nerve vagi are distributed mainly to the sinoatrial node as well as to the AV node. यानी जो sinoatrial node है उस पर भी parasympathetic input है और AV node पर भी parasympathetic input है. To a lesser extent also to the muscles of the two atria and very little directly to the ventricular muscles. The sympathetic input conversely are distributed to all parts of the heart with a strong representation in the ventricular muscle. So this distribution is important. Vagal stimulation slows the cardiac rhythm and conduction. If parasympathetic system is activated, a stimulation of parasympathetic system, it causes acetylcholine to be released at the vagal nerve endings. और ये जो neurotransmitter है, it has two major effects on the heart. First, it decreases the rate of rhythm of sinus node, and second, it decreases the excitability of the AV junction fibers. तो overall effect ये होता है कि speed भी कम हो जाती है, rate और conduction, यानी जो transmission है, वो भी slow हो जाती है. Weak to moderate vagal stimulation slows the rate of the heart pumping, often to as little as one half of the normal. Furthermore, strong stimulation of the vagi can completely also block the excitation of the heart. In um, either cases, the rhythmical excitatory signals are no longer transmitted to the ventricle. Therefore, the ventricles may stop beating for 5 to 20 seconds. But then, some small areas in the Purkinje fibers usually take over and then they start 15 to 40 beats per minute. And there, ye jo ventricular fainting ka mechanism hua tha, jisko humne upar Stokes Adam ka naam diya tha. Another terminology for a similar episode is the ventricular skip. And it makes sense. I like this one because uh, ventricle escape contraction because there is a blockage of the conduction. So ventricular escape is a nice terminology. Now, how does uh, actually vagus does this? ये जो हम बात कर रहे हैं कि vagus इतना strong stimulation हो सकती है कि पूरा heart का जो conduction system है it can shut down और फिर Purkinje fiber take over. यानी ये जो हमने diagram बनाई थी ये पूरे system को इस पूरे system को vagus can actually stop. Parasympathetic innervation can block this system or Purkinje takes over. अब ये vagus ऐसा क्या करता है भाई? The acetylcholine receptors basically क्या करते हैं? वो release होने से होता ये है कि vagal nerve endings पर it greatly increases the permeability of the fibers to potassium ion, which allow rapid leakage of potassium out of the conductive fibers. What was potassium doing? Potassium was doing depolarization or repolarize. It was doing the repolarization. And if potassium channels or after a little bit, they close. Remember, minus 55 funny currents, minus 40. 
calcium channels depolarization potassium channel repolarization and again funny current that was a normal cycle lekin agar potassium channel open hi rahe and they are overactive then what will happen uh, funny current depolarization and then hyperpolarization going down and down and down so the next excitation is not happening so if the sinus node is in the state of hyperpolarization the resting membrane potential of the sinus node is more and more negative usually from minus 55 to minus 65 even to minus 75 millivolts therefore the initial rise of the sinus nodal membrane potential to the invert funny current so the whole job of the sodium pehle sodium ko yahan se mamla uthana tha aur funny current ke zariye ab sodium ko yahan se mamla uthana hai to zyada sodium ka zor lagega and it will delay everything so that is the cause of the delay so in simple words Uh, what is vegas doing vegas is causing hyperpolarization because of increased permeability to potassium ion in the sinoatrial nodes theek hai ye to ho gayi sinoatrial node ki kahani now what happens in the av node a state of hyperpolarization again yahan pe bhi yahi mechanism hai uh, it uh, delays everything therefore the safety factor for transmission of cardiac impulses through the transmission null fibers into the av nodal fibers decreases again because of hyperpolarization a moderate decrease simply delays the conduction lekin agar vagal input bahut zyada hai so it can actually block the av system aur av system jab block hoga to uske against phir purkanji fiber apna uh, charge take over karega resume karega and it will start uh, you know heart at uh, a new rate of about 15 to 40 beats per minute but that uh, will be you know preceded by ventricular scape aur us ventricular scape mein bande ki death ho sakti hai so vagal stimulation ki wajah se jo fainting hai jo ventricle apna contraction miss kar raha hai the person can die because of this okay now the last bit that i have to discuss is uh, what happens uh, with the sympathetic stimulation parasympathetic ki to humne baat kar li acha sympathetic stimulation ka yaad rahe ki parasympathetic jaise stimulation thi it was mainly ab ye bahut khich pich ho gaya main isko thoda saaf kar leta hu so the parasympathetic stimulation was mainly to to the 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 node and the AV node or less to the muscles of the atria and ventricle. So the supply was mainly to the node, sinoatrial node, AV node, है ना लेकिन जो सिंपथेरिक सिस्टम है इट इज टू दल पार्ट ऑफ द हार्ट सिंपथेरिक स्टिमुलेशन इसेंशियली डज द अपोजिट इफेक्ट ऑन द हार्ट एज दो कॉज बाय द वेगल स्टिमुलेशन it increases the heart rate parasympathetic was decreasing the heart rate it increases the rate of conduction parasympathetic was decreasing the rate of conduction it increases greatly the force of contraction of the ventricular wall as well in short the sympathetic stimulation increases the overall activity of the heart more pumping pump 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 maximal stimulation can almost uh, triple the heart beat in emergency conditions for example and how does it do it stimulation of the sympathetic nerves release norepinephrine at the sympathetic nerve endings norepinephrine in turn stimulate the beta 1 adrenergic receptors uh, in the heart the precise mechanism whereby the beta 1 adrenergic stimulation act on cardiac muscle fiber is somewhat unclear very good but is thought to increase the permeability of the fiber to the sodium and calcium channel because these are the ones involved in depolarization so agar heart rate ko slow karna hai to bhai potassium channel ko speed up kar do heart रेट्स को और कॉन्ट्रैक्टिलिटी को इंक्रीज करना है तो सोडियम और कैल्शियम को डीपोलराइजेशन को एक्टिव कर दो हाइपरपोलराइजेशन को एक्टिव करोगे तो थिंग्स विल बी स्लो in the av node and the av bundles increase sodium permeability makes it easier for the action potential to happen easy concept the increase in the permeability to calcium is at least partially responsible so sodium and calcium they are both relevant for depolarization and sympathetic system makes uh, cardiac cells more permeable to these so easy depolarization more contractility that's all about uh, the rhythmic excitation of the heart it's an extremely important chapter guys i hope you like the video if you did please uh, subscribe the channel like the video share it with your colleagues aapse mulakat hogi agli video mein bahut jald tab tak ke liye apna khayal rakhiye